All right, welcome back to Fun Shoot with me, El Jong. And I just finished my video on how I was packing my Peter McKinnon Nomadic camera pack. But I also mentioned that I wanted to do a re-review of my actual daily driver. So this, the Brevet Jumper, will still be my day-to-day -day office uh, weekend backpack that I will be bringing with me. So without further ado, we're going to go into what's in my everyday bag, uh, the Brevet Jumper. We'll start with the front pocket. A so this is what I have with me for work. Again, I work in an office. Um, I just want to always have a camera with me just in case inspiration hits or you just want to document something. So I think all of y'all should do that as well. Just pack a camera just to make your shots a little bit more purposeful. So front pocket is the fun pocket. I have a pack of dice with me all the time. Whenever I play with friends or hang out with friends, we always have some dice game going on. Cards, just in case too you uh, get stuck somewhere with friends or you're at a bar or friend's house, you wanna play something, pack of cards always help. And I always pack a nail clipper in all of my bags just in case I need to make sure that my nails are clean and trimmed. I have been trimming a lot of gear so I can carry less stuff. I even updated my laptop to be a little bit smaller, my office laptop. That's, you know, better for the back. So on the top pocket is kind of like your utility pouch. The Brevete has the top portion for loose items, the bottom portion for your camera. And in the top pocket, what we have is, first thing that I pulled out, this is my Ruger memory card case. I use this here in this bag uh, because it has a little bit more protection. The Peter McKinnon Nomadic Camera Pack has its own memory card holder, but that's a little bit more soft, better if your bag is more protected. And since this bag is fairly casual, not hard, shell at all you want something that protect the insides of your gear so here i really love the ruger case because it's hard shell it is water resistant and it can hold a, like a two layer process for cards where you know the top layer can be your sd card but within that you can have you can also hold a micro sd it can hold up to six micro sds six sds and three cf cf2 cards so plenty of storage for whatever camera that you may be able to pack here. I used to have a different filter case if ever I do wanted to do videos on uh, my camera that I'm bringing with me. But now since the Peter McKinnon comes with its own filter case, I just moved that from one camera back to the other. So filter case, as mentioned in the previous video, I have two variable NDs, one star filter and a step up, step down ring just to make it easier for my other lenses to use the filter. So, got a notebook and a pen. Always jot down notes. Uh, for the most part right now, I'm doing Animal Crossing notes, how I want to design my island. But inspiration, things I need to do grocery on, nothing too, uh, nothing too artistic. Just if you have a thought in your mind, jot it down. I have my dongle for my laptop, which will show later in the side pocket, mouse for the laptop as well, office laptop. I have my checkbook for emergency cases. And this is the utility camera that I bring everywhere with me. It's so beat up, but it's the Ricoh uh, GR, the first version. This is one of those, like, hey, if you want something real quick, snap it out. It's really great for street photography. So Ricoh GR. So that is the top portion. Let's go in to the camera bag. So for the main compartment, right now it's packed for my, let's say I'm going to walk out on the weekend to the park and want to do a couple of snaps and a quick flight with my drone. So this is like my, my small boy setup. It's my Canon EOS R with the 16 to 35. I have the Mark II version, not even the Mark III. And this is not the R version, it's the EF version. Because my other camera that I'm shooting with, the 1DX Mark II, uh, uses EF lenses. So my setup is pretty much like that. This is kind of like my day-to-day -day general setup. And then we have is the, the drone. This little section can fit, you know, the Mavic Pro fairly well. Uh, it's a little snug, so you have to be very careful. And again, this is not extremely padded, so you have to be careful when you're dropping your camera or your bag down because uh, you might not have as much protection as you need. But it's a day-to-day -day bag, so Mavic Pro fits, now fits 
into this longer slot that I made in one side of the bag. And then for the top portion over here, I have the remote, okay? And then I have a little pouch here where I will usually put in cords or an extra battery, battery should I need, but I'm trying to be like very, very light in this setup. I don't have anything here right now. That's it. Simple one body, one lens in the drone setup. This is the like the first setup and then I'm gonna rearrange this and then I'll show you my like video vlogging setup. All right, we're back. And second setup is body is still in the same place, but where the remote used to be, now I've placed in my extra lens. So right now what we have is the 50L um, facing down if I pack it with the 50L. For longer lenses, let's say if I put here an 85L, which is a little bit taller than this, it'll have to be on its side so it'll fit. But either way, the place where you organize my remote, you can shift so that it can have a little bit more space for uh, not the biggest lenses, but enough of the lenses that you might wear. And on the top portion, instead of the drone, I slot in the the dt d3 mic pro over there i've learned to not really fully pack my gear so that the the equipment has a little bit room to breathe and it's easier to pull out so this is kind of like the vlogging setup uh let's go back and then let's check out the outside right so here the side slot i bring in the switch pod again i like the switch pod it's sleek it's easy, you can use it as stabilizer for taking videos or it was actually built for vlogging, which I don't do much. I put it on the side slot. Uh, some people use the bottom brace for tripods, switch pods, and Joby Gorilla pods, but I tend to not do that because if you have stuff at the bottom, you won't be able to stand your gear, which I kind of don't like. I want to be able to have my gear standing up so it's easier for me to pick up and brace or lean into places. So I keep this portion open. That's the inside, that's the outside. And for the final slot where I put the, the laptop, luckily I have like a, a very old MacBook 12 for my office laptop and that's what I slid in there. Plenty of room, it doesn't scratch your laptop. That is kind of what I bring to the office every day just in case i want to shoot some that's the brevity camera backpack still love this dude i wish i had a couple of different colors as well maybe next time they have a sale i'll get the yellow maybe the black uh, looks really good highly recommend if you want a small camera backpack that you can use on the daily so if you are replacing your uh, jansport if you are replacing your school backpack your college backpack your work backpack Consider looking at the Brevity Jumper. They're on sale right now. You can have anywhere between 10 to $40 off. Just head to their site. Not sponsored, just a big fan. So again, thanks. Tell me in the comments how you're using your Brevity Jumper backpack. What do you put in it? Maybe there's a different configuration that I haven't thought about. Let me know. And thank you again for watching. This is Fun Shoot with Angel. Bye.